<gasps> What's this? <laughs> did Sluginator build a giant mob farm between episodes? Yes. Yes, I did. <laughs> uh, yep, that's right. So I decided to take a little break from our end base we've been doing and build this giant mob farm. And I've got my alt account online here. Let's go down and look at all the mobs. <laughs> Oh, uh, this is so cool. I've been watching this thing all day. I've just been procrastinating making this video. <laughs> You'll see. Alright. Uh, looks like not many this time. We only got a few. Uh, but next cycle, it'll probably be a ton. Alright, alright. It's cycling back around. <laughs> Looks like we're going to get a lot of spiders. But yeah, you can see it flushes out. You know, it's a, it's a typical mob farm, but it's quite efficient because I'm so high up in the air there. Oh, look at them all just going in. <laughs> and of course, we have a death pit there to collect all their stuff. So cool. And, oh yeah, I almost forgot. <laughs> hey, hey, this is Sloganator1313, and welcome back to the survival world. <laughs> this is episode 34, and yes, uh, like I said earlier, this mob farm has been working awesome. Uh, we The reason I built this is our creeper farm over at the lab is terrible, I hate to admit it, not good. <laughs> so I built a new one, and out here in the ocean, gets way better rates, and we are going to use it for a project today. And I'm sure you're putting the puzzle piece together, we're going to be using TNT today. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> so, um, this should be quite quite a fun episode. I've got a, a few cool things we sh are going to try out with the TNT. Uh, yeah, I was watching one of Etho's videos and he was playing around with TNT in it. And yeah, I, I just thought that would be fun to do as well. So anyway, first thing I want to test out, am I going to die from this? Point blank hit. Oh, not at all. Oh, wow. Barely t even a scratch. How about if I go in a hole? Alright, alright, this will surely make me die. Oh, really? <laughs> wow, this armor is really good. After thinking about this a little bit, I think I might even be able to make this into like a player launcher. <laughs> I mean, if, if the armor is this good... Wait, uh... Hmm, okay, alright, here's what we gotta do. We have to... Take out these blocks, there, water, okay, TNT there, trapdoor above, alright, let's see, let's see if this launches me, oh, oh, what, really, that is so sad, huh, okay, let's see if this launches me, whoa, <laughs> Oh, not really. Well, that's kind of a bummer. <laughs> that was just a uh, quick little idea I wanted to try out. Uh, but I, I actually did have a different idea I think is hopefully going to work out even better. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I was thinking about fireworks, you know. They go up, they're pretty cool, and you know, you can add all kinds of effects, but they're not actually, like, they don't have any, like, TNT looking effects. So. I want to try to combine TNT and fireworks to go up in the air and explode at once. Oh. Oh. Dang it. Hmm, I have just been trying to figure out exactly how to launch TNT. <laughs> I, uh, I don't have much experience with this kind of stuff, so... Alright, let's see about this. A hole in the ground with a fence. Alright. Okay. Oh, no, it fell down. Oh. Okay, I, I think I'm onto something here. <laughs> At least I hope so. So we've got TNT uh, that's going to fall into some water. And yeah, we're gonna that's gonna be like our booster TNT. Above it, we're gonna have regular TNT that's gonna be launched. That is controlled by a piston right here. Yeah. <laughs> so let's let's see about this. Uh-huh. 
And when I flick this lever, it should activate our TNT and then a little while later open up this piston. So, alright. <laughs> I We only get one try of this and then it blows up all the redstone, so let's see. We're lit. Alright, we lit the other one. Oh, it worked! <laughs> wow, okay, so it actually worked. That's awesome. Um... Let's see, maybe we need a little bit less... Oh, <laughs> sorry, lit myself on fire. Maybe we need a little bit less delay because that TNT didn't really get launched very far. Okay, chamber that one. Add that one there. Okay, let's see about this. Oh. Huh, it doesn't seem to be getting much power. Maybe it needs more delay. Like, maybe it needs, like, yeah, more. <laughs> I, I don't know why it would, but maybe. Okay, let's, let's try this. Oh, oh, that was pretty good. And there goes the redstone. I think that we're onto something here, but it needs more power. <laughs> so... Gonna make a little trench for our TNT. And here's the idea. We have the same setup as over there, except the TNT is gathered in the water and it all explodes at once to fuel our our uh, launching TNT. <laughs> so, alright, let's see about this. Uh, a block there, and I need to grab all of our repeaters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, and then we just have our standard 10 repeater delay. It uh, Just so you know, it takes 40 redstone ticks for TNT to explode. That's why I'm using 10 full repeaters, because that's a total, yeah, that's a total of 40 <laughs> redstone ticks. Alright. Um, and then, let's see like that okay and then up above it we of course have the the ring around to protect it <laughs> and okay oh don't want to put it there I'm gonna put it there okay so what should happen is when we activate this oh yeah well let's give it a little bit of delay okay yeah l let's see what happens so it should activate all three of these at once and then we activate this one manually Oh, wait, that would have been bad. I forgot blocks. Okay. <laughs> okay, that would have been really bad. Alright, let's try this. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, it launched it! <gasps> oh, that's so cool! Oh, you can tell that I am excited about that. <laughs> sorry, uh... So sorry that I probably scared you with that loud, loud microphone there. <laughs> Alright, okay, so we need more power, probably. I mean, why not, right? <laughs> um, okay, yeah, so I've extended the thing, and now we're going to put this back. Let's just see how far we can launch it up. Oh my goodness, it went so high! Oh, it's out of render distance! <laughs> That's crazy. I don't know if you saw that, but it went really high that time, and it even kind of like curved, which is not a good thing, but still. Okay, okay. So maybe that's too much power, because I think one of the TNTs got stuck over here and kind of sent its velocity a little that way. So if we do one less TNT, that should fix the curve issue. I'm just trying to work out the basic idea at the moment. <laughs> Like, we're not actually building anything significant here, I'm just testing stuff out. Alright. Okay, it's going in. It's still curved a little. Wow, that probably went like, you know, 60 or 70 blocks. <laughs> awesome. Alright, it's good testing. <laughs> now I'm trying to automate the process of lighting this top TNT so that it can explode anywhere we choose for it to in the air. Uh, let's see about this. 
I really hope this thing doesn't blow up. Well, I hope it blows up in a good way, you know? Not the way where it destroys itself. <gasps> oh my gosh, it actually worked. <laughs> I did not think it was actually going to work. That is awesome. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I keep, like, getting, you know... You know, this this isn't very uh, exciting stuff, I know. But I'm, I'm still, I'm just so excited by it. Look. Oh, it automatically launches it. <laughs> so cool. Let's just try it with two blocks of TNT instead of three, because uh, I don't want the TNT to go that high up in the air. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, dang it. Okay, I, I rebuilt the machine. I think I know how to fix that. We just have to activate our TNT earlier on. So probably like here. We'll take a signal out from this and use it for our TNT. <laughs> okay, let's try this. Oh. Ooh. Oh, and it exploded midair. Oh, that was beautiful. Look at look at how how well it exploded. Okay. Yeah, that's that's pretty much perfect, I think. Now, the next step is to add our firework. <laughs> so, we've got the TNT going up into the air, roughly around where we want our firework to be. Uh, and yeah, so now I'm going to get some fireworks in here and trigger this dispenser around the same time that we're launching the TNT. Uh, we should get a firework and a TNT at once. <laughs> at least I'm hoping. Uh, I think I used two TNT for that. Alright. Alright, the other one has been lit, and... Oh, no. Okay, I think I know what went wrong. Our dispenser was facing sideways. Now I have it below, and, um, yeah, it's gonna shoot a firework straight up. <laughs> Go away, I'm trying to do redstone. Oh my goodness. You, you two? Okay. Alright. <laughs> Let's see if this works. I hope it doesn't blow up again. Oh, dang it. Wow, that was a bad explosion. But it's all good because I reconstructed our machine over here. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's a little more compact now, but it still does the exact same thing as before. Uh, now, doing the firework automatically, I think, was too big of a step to take. So let's just do it manually for now. All right, I'm going to activate this, and around like when the TNT gets launched is when I'm going to shoot my, my firework here. Ooh, okay, that was kind of what I was going for. After rebuilding this th thing a few more times, just trying to <laughs> test a few things out, I, I'm not sure if this is going to work. <laughs> uh, from all my previous testing, this should blow up, but we're going to give it a try. Okay, at least it didn't blow up. It looks like the firework went off too soon, though. Huh. Okay, <laughs> this is the one. This is the one where I'm I'm most likely sure that it's going to explode itself. <laughs> oh, I'm nervous for this. Let's give it a try. That doesn't look good. That looks bad. Oh, dang it. Oh, man, that that was a little worse than I expected. I rebuilt the machine again. <laughs> Turns out user error is actually a factor in this. From my testing, we can safely conclude that. <laughs> anyway, all right, let's load it up again. It has, let's see, does it have a firework? Yes, it does. All right, it's got a firework in there. We're going to go the whole, the whole shebang. I'm not sure what's going to happen. Probably it'll blow up. Let's just see. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, wow, it actually worked. <gasps> Wait, it, it actually worked. Okay, okay, that that is great. Um, let's try that again, but with an actual Flight Duration 1 firework and see what happens. Okay. Okay, let's, let's do that again. Oh, I can't believe it. 
Oh, dang it, it still goes way too high, but still, we have a functioning thing here. Let's try it with uh, one TNT as fuel. Not sure if this will go horribly wrong. <laughs> oh, it, it went horribly wrong. I think I know what the problem is. The firework is being launched by the TNT, so if we delay it so that it comes after the TNT is launched, uh, yeah, we, we should get a much better result. <laughs> At least that's what I'm hoping. We've got our fireworks in there. We've got our TNT there. Our launcher TNT up top. Let's hope it doesn't blow up. Like we always do. Let's hope. <gasps> oh my goodness. Okay, that was really close. That was really... In fact, we might have just gotten it. <laughs> Wait, let's, okay, let's craft a, some flight duration th uh, 2 fireworks. Okay, this is exciting. <laughs> Put them in. Flight duration 2. And, alright. Yep, alright, we're back. Place that one, place that one, and that one. We might be onto something here. It's close, but it's a little bit too much delay. Let's see about this. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, close. Okay, and that's flight duration two. Hmm, okay, okay, we might be able to do that. And, and then it'll... See, I'm just trying to match up the path of the firework with the TNT. So that they, like, come together in midair and explode in the same place. So let's just see what this does. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Okay, after a lot of tweaking, I think I've got something that's pretty cool. Alright, watch this. <laughs> right? Isn't that kind of cool? <laughs> Uh, I'm using a stopper block up in the air there to stop the firework from going too high. But other than that, it's a pretty cool system. Right here, we can watch it again. The They kind of they explode at basically the same time, so that's good. <laughs> yeah, I'm, uh, I'm quite pleased with that. Now I'm going to experiment with automating the fuel dispensing process. <laughs> so let's hope this doesn't blow up. Oh, uh, okay. It looks all good so far. <gasps> oh my goodness! Okay, that's awesome! <laughs> so, it looks like that worked uh, quite well. Okay, I hooked up another dispenser up here. This is going to create our launching TNT. Oh, <laughs> accidentally did that. We're filled up with rockets. Okay, very good. These are flight duration 1 rockets, by the way. Oh. Hmm, well, I think that's a good point to rage quit for today. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, uh, I don't think I make enough time for fun stuff in the world. <laughs> um, I, I should really start doing more of that. Like this episode, it, we did some fun stuff. I'm going to be trying to do more of that in the future. Uh, anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm going to end it here for today, though. <laughs> uh, really hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, give this TNT firework thing a try if you want. See if you can make one better than mine, because I did not get much success. Well, a little bit. Anyway, really hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye!